To start off, you need what's commonly referred to as a dongle, also known as a mini display port to VGA adapter. If your MacBook has a built-in HDMI port, you can also get an HDMI to VGA adapter for your MacBook. Um, so you need this, you need a MacBook with one of those two ports and a compatible dongle. You need an external monitor with a power source and a VGA cable, or if it's an HDMI monitor, an HDMI cable plugged into the proper port on the monitor. To get everything all connected up is pretty simple. All you need to do is plug your VGA cable into the VGA port on your dongle. You can choose to tighten these screws here to hold it on. I usually just tighten them up a little bit. Now what we want to do is plug the dongle into the respective port on the MacBook. Go ahead and plug that in and you'll see your screen flash. Now that that's plugged in, we'll go ahead and power on our monitor. And you'll see we have a second display. If I open up a Google page, can drag it on over there. Now, my monitor is set up to be on the left side of my MacBook. I can't drag it off to the right side. To adjust the settings on the display, go ahead and go to your system preferences. And then here in the second row, you'll see displays. Click on that, and you'll get display options popping up on your MacBook Pro screen, as well as on the monitor. I'll bring this one over here so you can see. So now you can adjust the settings for your monitor, refresh rate, rotation, resolution, as well as adjust any color settings. I can also assign the arrangement and say this is my second, it's on the right, or any other arrangement you choose.